y'all, it's Alana and welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna be exploring the Selwyn Moreland neighborhood in Portland. If you're new to my channel, hi, welcome. I post content about what it's like to navigate life and dating in Portland. So if you're thinking about moving to Portland or maybe you're just single navigating the dating world, go ahead and join the Kin Squad and subscribe to my channel down below because I think you'll really like it here. So without further ado, let's go ahead and explore a new neighborhood. And I also need to go to the bathroom, so I'm going to try to find a place where I can eat and find a place to do my business. So let's see what we got. I mean, this is super cute. Such a mood. Okay, we got a coffee place. Let's go here. It's called, I think it says Fairlane. Yes, Fairlane. All right, let's go in. Okay, it doesn't look like I can actually go in as they're taking like window service, but it does have food. I guess I could go for an avocado toast right now. Sure. Okay, so I got um, ice mocha with coconut milk and then I got some avocado toast. Mmm. Mmm, that's so good. I can't even taste the coconut milk in this. I've actually never had coconut milk with my mocha before, but that blends really, really well with the coffee, so I'm impressed. That's really good. And now for the avocado toast. Not your typical avocado toast, but it's a spot. I've just finished eating just a small little snack because I don't really consider avocado toast to be lunch. So I'm gonna just kind of walk around and see what else this neighborhood has. Oh my God. Portland Rocks, oh my God. If that's a crystal store, hell yes, let's go in. Hello, my name is Alana and I have a problem. Ooh, oh my God. I'm excited. Okay, yeah, we're gonna go in. Maybe you'll come back here if they're still open, but that's a fun name, Fat Albert's Breakfast Cafe. I have a problem and I totally bought three crystals. I just needed some more for, or I didn't need, but I wanted some more for my collection. So that was a fun little place. Got a cute little theater. Oh, it's so like old and authentic looking. I love this. Where else can I go and see what else I can do in this neighborhood? I guess I'll just keep walking and just go in to any stores that look interesting. What is that collage store? I'm kind of curious to see what that store is about. Let's go in it. Oh, it looks like it's a craft store. Okay, yeah, I'll go in. I love these. Oh, I love the track markers, those are so fun. So many fun activities you could paint. I don't think there's anything I need to craft right now, but at least I know where to come if I want to get my craft on. I love craft stores. They are such a favorite pastime of mine. Oh my god, the clay! Who remembers these? Oh, I loved these. These were so fun when I was a kid. I loved making things with these, and they have so many colors. Oh my gosh. So I never made it to a bathroom, so I need to go to a bathroom first and then I'm going to do some more exploring because there's so many cute things around me, especially with clothing stores that I really want to check out. Oh, but let me see if I can find a bathroom first. This is where I took a bathroom break. <laughs> um, this is actually a really cool place. They have a little game room inside there. I didn't film it because there was a lot of kids in there, so I didn't want them in the video. But it looks like a really good place to eat, so I may come back and eat here. We'll see. Anyway, back to the stores that I passed that looked really cute. Let's see what this fun store Coco is about. Oh, ooh, okay. oh my gosh, this is so cute. Oh, I love that chandelier. The 
this store is adorable. No joke. Oh my gosh. Got all the fun little knickknacks. There's like some little scents. Oh, I love it. Oh, it's such a cute little, cute little store. All the fragrances and the smell good things. I'm gonna check out this Midtown Mod vintage store. Who doesn't love vintage? So let's go in and check it out. Ooh. Hello, thank you. I love all the hats. Those are so fun. <laughs> this is a look. <laughs> kind of look, actually. This one's just a little too big for me, but it is fun. Love these. How much are they? This one's a little expensive. I need to be careful with what I'm spending. Oh, wait, this is this is cute. I like the plants. Very very fun. This makes me so sad. I miss you, California. And now into fuchsia. Let's see what they have. That fuchsia store was slightly disappointing. There wasn't really a lot of stuff in there that I was really vibing with. So we're gonna walk around and see what else we can find. But this is a really cute little neighborhood. I like all the little stores. There's so many things that I would want from these stores that I could totally have in my apartment. So I'll have to come back when I have the money again for the stuff. It's a really fun looking antique store. So it's called Stars and Splendid. So let's go in. I'm gonna get lost in here. There are so many fun things. All the plants. I love that some of these are fake, which is nice because I can't take care of real plants. <laughs> this feels this feels real. This is so fun. Look at all the cute little antiques. So much. I feel like there's something in here for everyone, no matter what your taste is. Like that pink little bird cage. I love it. That's so cute. Oh my gosh. That one's cute too. Oh my gosh. I want to buy the whole store. <laughs> okay, except not really. Not everything here is my vibe. But this is a pretty cool store. <clears throat> okay, this is funny and totally also. If that doesn't describe Elsa, I don't know what does. <laughs> there are literally so many cool things in here. I am absolutely overwhelmed. Wow. Seriously, so cute. I love that. I love that as well. Oh my gosh. I need to come back. There are so many things from this store that I would buy. So I'm gonna walk further down Southeast Milwaukee to see what else I can find. And then I'm gonna head west of the neighborhood because there are some parks over there that definitely look worth for exploring. There's Bertie Lou's, which I heard is a really cute place. So that's a place that I've heard of before, but I don't think I'm gonna go there. So this is a little bit further down Milwaukee. Actually, I'm not even on Milwaukee anymore. This is on 17th Avenue. So, I think what I'm going to do, because I'm not seeing much. Well, actually, let me go past that traffic light and I will see what's down there. Okay. So that's adorable piece of cake. I'm going to go in and see what they have. Alrighty, let's check it out. Ooh, yum. 
Let me show you what I got from Piece of Cake. I got a beautiful red velvet cupcake with a bottle of water. I'm gonna try a little bit of it out. I'm definitely not gonna eat the whole thing. Mmm! Oh my god. This is rich. I also took a whole chunk of frosting and not the cupcake. <laughs> this is good though. Holy shit. I can't even remember the last time I had a cupcake like this. I really don't buy stuff from bakeries anymore, but I'm treating myself. Now I'm gonna be heading west of the neighborhood towards like the waterfront, and I'm gonna see what fun things I can find along the way, but I do plan on having the waterfront be my last stop of the day. My ding dong ass went the wrong way, and it put me in a pretty not so good area. So I've added more minutes onto this walk, but I guess it's exercise for me and it is a beautiful day out, but still slightly annoyed that I went the wrong way. Whoops. Yo, no way. They have a puppet museum. I'm not going to go in, but like you can see that. I feel like I would get super creeped out if I went in, so I'm probably not going to go in. But it says that admission is by donation, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> I mean, if puppets are your thing, then you'd probably like this place. Even though I have my cupcake, I am getting really hungry. So I'm walking past this pub. So I'm gonna eat here and then I'm gonna go to the waterfront park and then I guess we're gonna go home. So let's get something to eat. The Muddy Rotter Public House. Let's go inside and get some food. So empty. Please seat yourself. Like, I'm gonna sit out here. So I got a little side salad with uh, basically like a caprice sandwich with some yogurt dressing on the side. So I just finished eating at the pub house and now I'm finally on my way to the waterfront park. I'm excited to see what this view is because I love me a good waterfront park. Huh, in an amusement park. Interesting. I bet it's really small though. Oh my god, look at all the people paddle boarding. I am so jealous. I want to be doing that so badly. This is a mood, a vibe that I could totally get down by. Oh my gosh, this is it. And it's literally like a little sandy, rocky beach. How fun! Oh my gosh. This is awesome. I love this. This is so cool. I bet the water is freezing cold, but I would totally kill to go paddle boarding and go wading. This looks awesome. I'll have to come back with a friend and do this. This would be like the perfect weekend day thing to do. Okay, I decided to go on the little beach area. I kind of want to touch the river to see what the water temperature is like. Oh, wow. That's like not bad at all. Yep. And then check out the little city skyline. I love it. This is really nice. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video of me exploring the Selwood Moreland neighborhood. If you liked this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And with that, I will see you in my next video. Bye.